The Artist Collaborative Theater in Elkhorn City was devastated by a fire over the weekend, but in the wake of that fire, hope has been expressed by the theater troupe that they will be back and be bigger and better than ever. And today I'm joined in the studio by Artist Collaborative Theater Executive Director and Founder Stephanie Richards. Stephanie, thank you so much for being up in the studio with us today. Thank you and for inviting me. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to have you here. I mean, it, it was a huge story that we covered. Um, a lot of people uh, really had a lot of reactions to it. People were very sad to see the theater burn, but I think a lot of people are excited to hear what you guys have got planned for the future, especially since you're planning on coming back, as I said, bigger and better than ever. Yes. So we'll kind of start with um, where you guys are in the process right now. I know that it's, it's a recovery process. Uh, it's going to be a long process, but you guys have already kind of gotten everything started. And I think a lot of people are just kind of wondering where you are on that. Sure. Process. Um, it's sort of dual layered. We figured that out. So to keep the business running as is, as best as possible. So our children's theater have already met this week and had rehearsals for Aristocats and, uh, and the ongoing education program. And our next production of You Can't Take It With You, which is our drama, our comedy literary slot. Um, it's already had two rehearsals this week and they're working at the extension office right now. We don't know the exact location where those productions will be, but we'll be finding that out. We were given support from the churches in Elkhorn City, offered, offered their spaces, um, and also the Elkhorn City Community Center and the, Elkhorn, the Eastridge High School has offered, and I'm sure Elkhorn has offered to somebody. It's just not gotten back to me yet. Um, so we've been offered facilities and we will keep business going as usual, and we're very blessed. Um, and then t on the building recovery, so we've started the insurance process. Uh, we're keeping daily updates online, on Facebook, on my page, and Artist Collaborative Theater and the Volunteers page. Um, so that people, because, because there was so much support that night, and I think it's showing that we're all in this together now, that I think people want to know what's going on daily. Uh, are we, are we, and not, and not, and not let it get out of sight, out of mind. Absolutely. I mean, that was a big thing that I wanted to talk to you about. Was You've done amazing at that, and I appreciate you. No, no, no. You're, 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 you're too kind, as no. I said a little while ago, no. but um, what, uh, you've gotten a lot of support from the community. You had a lot of folks out that night that, that saw the building burn and a lot of people were expressing support. Um, what has that support been like for you guys in the wake of something this devastating? It's kept us breathing and kept us standing. Um, if we had to go through that Saturday night, I'm sorry, if we had to go through that Saturday night, just, just me or just my family or, or or just some individuals. I don't know if I would be picked up off the ground yet or not. Um, but Saturday night, our our volunteer theater company stood shoulder to shoulder, and we held each other up. And the community support that poured in and is still pouring in has meant the world. Because 18 years ago, people didn't know what the vision was, and they and in and in Eastern Kentucky, we don't trust things until we see it because people promise a lot that don't that doesn't come through for us so 18 years ago people didn't know whether to believe in it or not and now 18 years later for people to believe in it and support it and know the value of it means everything in the world and if if I had even had a second of thinking well this was a good run and it's over now boy that would have gotten put out quickly because <laughs> between the volunteers in the community and our children our children were at home watching it on Facebook going we're going to we're going to be okay we're going to we're going to fix this because that's what we do at the theater we don't blame and we do, and we don't find fault we problem solve and we go forward and that's what we've always practiced okay so with going forward um, what's next for you guys in the process um started the insurance process. Uh, I'm starting having meetings about fundraisers and, um, and how we can keep, keep building the financial base that we're going to need for this. So um, waiting for the building site to stop smoldering 
so the fire marshal can come in. We don't have any worries about that. I don't, I don't anticipate any, I, I, I think the, the fire department said they think that it, it was a spark in the wall, an electric something that happened in the wall. Um, and, and the fire departments, so Elkhorn City, let me see if I can do it again, Elkhorn City, uh, Sycamore, Millard, Ferrell's Creek, Pikeville and Coal Run to have six fire departments in a rural community, in a rural region, come together to fight that fire was very humbling. And our Elkhorn City Fire Department people were as emotional as I was that night trying to do their best. Well, a lot of folks, I think, at that scene took ownership of the theater. They did. And I think that's one of the reasons it was such an emotional event for a lot of people. They did, yeah. Um, and I think that that might translate into a lot of support for you guys. And I understand that you guys have already actually started fundraising. Is that correct? Yes, we have. Um, yeah, so if anybody wants to donate, we're not being humble at this point. Um, and, and I got over that a long time ago when I figured out that the theater's not for me. The theater's for the theater people and for our community. So we're taking donations, check or online. So check is P.O. Box 964 Elkhorn City, Kentucky 41522 and online on Artist Collaborative Theater Facebook. There are a couple of different sites that you can find our fundraiser, um, our donate button and they're, they're legitimate and I've kept track of that to make sure. Um, so yeah, we're taking donations and 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 we do want to come back bitter, bigger and better. Um, not bitter. Not bitter. <laughs> not bitter. Not not for a second. No. Bigger and better. I think. Walking on faith and walking on on the support and love of the community. Well, before we get out of here, I'm not going to let you go without you telling me so that the audience can hear when Elkhorn City is at its best. I've been saying you've heard me say it. When Elkhorn City is at its best, we can't be beat. And I've. I've always been proud to be from Elkhorn City, and I don't say I'm from Pike County, I say I'm from Elkhorn City. Um, and and I've, I've, I've always felt loved. I've, I'm probably one of those kids that was raised by the village, so you know, it takes a village to raise a child. I think everybody had a hand in raising me. Um, and, and I appreciate Elkhorn City for, for being the theater's home. Well, I think the entire village is uh, anxiously awaiting that, uh, your comeback. And uh, as I told you on the scene that night, you're definitely going to be come back because you're too stubborn not to. That's what I've heard a lot this <laughs> week. <laughs> I've heard that a lot this week, and I guess I accept that. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. And, uh, I, you know, myself and the entire village wishes you luck, and we're looking forward to what's next. Thank you. Thanks, Stephanie.